Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 13, leçon U. And in this lesson, we'll continue this series of videos that uh, we've been starting, well, two videos uh, before. Um, and the topic is le pluriel des noms composés. And we'll take the time in this video to see something quite tricky. And I'm really sorry about that, but, well, I need to do my job and to explain or to tell you how it goes. Uh, when you've got this composed noun, and uh, when this composed noun uh, is composed by first a noun or not first but then a noun and the adjective uh, grand because in most of the cases this grand will be in the first place okay uh, it will be tricky <laughs> it will be tricky let's be let's be honest um, the thing is that we'll, we will need to divide this video and to see how it works for the masculine form and then the feminine form just because uh, when we'll see the masculine form it's actually quite easy it is not difficult at all because when we've got this example like un grand père okay so of course you get first this grand and then after that you get the pair if you want to put this word at the plural form then you will get des grand père and it's actually quite simple because it will respect the rule i mean the, the the thing that we saw previously you just need to put s at the end of each words okay so grand with s and then pair with s like that okay so it's not really difficult and especially if you think about that you don't pronounce this s so actually phonetically it's the same grand pair here and grand pair here okay so let's be honest i mean if it's for the masculine form then it's not difficult but if it's for the feminine form and that's where it is a bit strange but i mean that's just a language so we need to see how it goes if you have at the singular form for the feminine this form here so grand instead of grand because normally it's an adjective and normally we should have a here okay but it does i mean it does happen that in some cases like with this word in grand-mère then actually you don't have this e uh, at the end of the adjective so if you have this form so first the adjective grand at the feminine but not really at the feminine because you don't have this e uh, okay then that's when it will be tricky because you will have well two options to put the plural form the first one will be this one so you just put this s and s at the end of the first and the second part okay and it's also possible to see it like that so only s at the end of the second word or the second part of this composed word okay so de grand-mère as i said phonetically it's the same anyway because it will be une grand-mère des grand-mères and then des grand-mères okay so phonetically the same form but you've got to keep in mind that you know this is how it should be written correctly and in that case keep in mind that the two options are co sorry correct okay so that's the first part and it's also possible to see composed words or nouns with first the adjective grand but at the feminine form like here with grande okay and then duchesse and in that case well not really difficult because you just you know do what we've been doing so far so you just put s at the end of the first part and s at the end of the second part okay and you will get une grande duchesse plural des grandes duchesses okay so i hope it is clear <laughs> uh, we've got another video coming um, concerning that topic because i think that uh, we need to we need to clarify a few things uh, more but then if you want more videos then youtube.com slash imagier and then uh, the the page on facebook is right here and more material can be found at the following address have a great day bye bye